Have you ever wondered who were the first inhabitants of Australia? Today, we delve deep into a theory suggesting that the first Australians were Papuans from New Guinea, followed by pre-Dravidian people from South India and Ceylon. This theory references the work of Alfred Court Haddon and Kathleen Haddon, Rishbeth. However, let's examine this claim in light of the scientific consensus. The theory suggests that the original inhabitants of Australia were Papuans from New Guinea. Contrasting this with scientific consensus, genetic, archaeological and linguistic evidence indicates that the first humans to arrive in Australia were Aboriginal Australians. This migration occurred around 50,000 to 65,000 years ago, significantly earlier than the Papuan migration suggested in the theory. Moreover, the theory posits Papuans as the original Australians. Although there was significant interaction between the inhabitants of New Guinea and Australia, when these regions were part of the same landmass known as Sahul, scientists generally agree that Aboriginal Australians' ancestors were the first modern humans to reach Australia. Thus, the claim that Papuans were the first inhabitants lacks substantial evidence. The theory further argues that Aboriginal Australians are actually pre-Dravidian people from South India and Ceylon, not indigenous to Australia. However, genetic studies show that Aboriginal Australians are among the world's oldest continuous civilizations deeply rooted in Australia. While there is evidence of ancient human migration and gene flow between the Indian subcontinent and Australia around 4,000 years ago, it doesn't imply that Aboriginal Australians are not indigenous or that they displaced an earlier Papuan population. The sources of this theory, Alfred Court Haddon and Kathleen Haddon, Rishbeth, while respected in their time, had theories and methods that are considered outdated by modern standards. Kathleen Haddon, though a recognized figure, was primarily known for her work in string figures, not necessarily for groundbreaking anthropological theories. The current understanding of the peopling of Australia is largely based on a combination of archaeological evidence, linguistic studies, and more recently, genetic analyses. The genetic evidence in particular has provided deep insights into the ancient migrations and populations, often challenging or refining earlier theories based solely on archaeological or linguistic data. In conclusion, Aboriginal Australians are considered to be the descendants of the first humans to arrive on the continent, with deep-rooted connections to the land that date back tens of thousands of years. Theories suggesting otherwise, like the one examined today, do not hold up against the weight of facts. The fascinating story of human migration and settlement is a complex tapestry, and every thread of evidence helps us understand it better.